Morning, 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 Marcus Conti. <laughs> Investigative journalist reporting. So there's three main, uh, three big stories, I guess. Just cover some uh, brief, brief uh, video today. Or this morning, anyway. See what happens later. So right now, um, I think the, the, the interesting story is this um, Mr. America, Matt Couch, uh, pursuing Donna Brazil aggressively. Uh, on allegations that uh, Donna Brazil and the mayor of DC Bowser, Miss Bowser, were at the hospital at or around the time Seth Rich, Seth Rich, allegedly was brought to that hospital and later died. So that that story is is rather interesting because they have Donna Brazil on the ropes. They actually have Donna Brazil, Donna Brazil's attorneys responding, and that's a good thing. But, but on further investigation, again, Mr. America, Mr. Couch, you still have no, you haven't produced any evidence. Two police officers, their, their, their argument is that there's two uh, Metro police people that can confirm that they were at the hospital, but we have no names, so that's bullshit. That's bullshit, right? That doesn't count because you have law enforcement saying something and but they won't put their name on it and they won't release any information bullshit then to turn around and say well so they should Donna Brazil if she wants to prove her innocence she has to give up her phone records also bullshit that's not evidence that's called fishing All right so they're fishing is it a is it a bad thing no but call it what it is don't call it evidence Right? Call me old-fashioned, but evidence means you've got something. You have the phone record. You have the police testimony with their names on it. Right? That's evidence. You're, you're fishing for evidence. Whether it's true or not, keep fishing. But don't call it evidence. So the other one is um, Jenny Moore, Jenny Moore, Jenny Moore. All right, so what do we know about Jenny Moore, the dead uh, whistleblower? We know that she was a uh, uh, an officer in San Jose, California. She blew the whistle. She revealed information about the oh-so-interesting and so attention-grabbing Pizzagate where Bill Clinton may have raped a boy. And she gave this information to Camilla Harris in California, as the story goes. Then she moved on to D.C. and pursued this story side-by-side -side with... George Webb in shadow for months, became George Webb's girlfriend, and then later died in a, ho a hotel room four days after allegedly releasing some kind of bombshell about Bill Clinton and raping the young boy. Uh, a witness. Where's the witness? A witness they have. Some sort of witness. So what, what I'm saying about the story is that I, 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 I mean... Did, who saw the body? Is she really dead? Is George Webb capable of faking a murder, of faking a, a, a death to let her out the back door? I don't know. I mean, yeah. I mean, George is the guy that, that said that the, uh, the SEIU was, was the, the mob was attacking him in a hotel room. And he had to escape out the back door. You remember that? Down the elevator and out in Brooklyn when he was here. He, he said that the thugs were, were cornering him in the elevator and he escaped and he had to make his way to Manhattan. Remember that shit? Fucking <laughs> George Webb. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, look, everybody's a little crazy, but that, that was a stunt, you know? And he, he didn't, it later proved to be a stunt. So is Judy, is, is Jenny Moore dead? Is Jenny Moore dead? Could someone... Have we seen an autopsy? Do we have any word from the family? Is there a funeral? Is that why didn't George shoot a, a video? Mr. Video. Mr. Video didn't shoot a video of the dead. He didn't report on the dead body of a of a reporter in DC. As far as George having killed her, is that actually George is actually saying that he's being accused of killing her? That's a stretch. Faking the death of a journalist to bring attention to the to the uh, to the uh, to the situation of Bill Clinton raping a boy, possible, and um, and poor Paul Manafort, 
day three of deliberations in Paul Manafort uh, trial and mainstream media spinning oh how important it is to the presidency of Donald Trump and Trump is is adamant about proving that that the fake media is fake media uh, Trump wins that argument every time because the evidence is in the records fake media but Paul Manafort is is a is a prime example of the DNC hit team right how right they, they they're trying to they tried to sweep Seth Rich under the rug clearly a political hit you know Jenny Moore if you talk about that now that's a you know they, they, I mean that that issue is is scary right because she's talking about a very sensitive issue and then and then you see how the DNC and the the operatives rain down right? Paul Manafort something that started under an, um, an investigation into possible Russian meddling a totally fake story and when the totally fake story unravels in the mainstream media they take a victim Paul Manafort and pair him to Donald Trump a bad actor was Trump's campaign manager so let's run him through the ringer the degrees of separation everybody has a you know because Manafort dealt touch touch something in Russia had Russian tea once or whatever the ignorant masses will then put those two together Manafort Russia Trump Trump it's not nothing there's nothing in common the real criminals are the DNC for rigging an election right massive corruption and then trying to blame a foreign entity starting a possible war what they got caught doing was you know, high treason, which is really stealing a, a secret. So Paul Manafort, um, jury's still in deliberation. And uh, I, I don't know, I think that, I think it's, I, I, I'm gonna, because the mainstream media is already spinning a second trial, I, I mean, the evidence doesn't matter anymore. Evidence in, in, in these cases doesn't matter. It's all politics, all right? Our, our judicial system no more no longer works on evidence it's all po it's a popularity contest right mainstream media and DNC and the operatives they want Manafort locked up right regardless of the evidence it doesn't matter right so the fact that the the mainstream media corporately owned media is running a little scared right now saying that um, they're looking already at a second trial because if, if Manafort gets free, see, we have a second trial. That first trial didn't matter. If they get him and he's in, he's, he, he gets, you know, convicted, then they say, see, see, we told you so, Russia, Russia, see? You know, so they're, they're hedging their bets by that second trial announcement. Is, that's, that's called hedging. So I would lead, it leads me to believe that Manafort will probably walk and Trump will... Uh, win this battle because there is no collusion. It's it's bullshit. Marcus Conti reporting. Peace.